hates the Greeks. Waylon, tell all your friends on YouTube, my mommy, my mommy deleted all those bad comments. <laughs> Waylon, so my mommy doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. Another. What do you mean? Well, criticism is how you grow as a person. Criticism is good. There was one lady, so this lady that I just removed from the channel, she won't be able to comment anymore. I forget what her username was. She was she posted her own comment and then she was going underneath of everyone else's positive comment and telling them how bad of a mom I was and that Waylon will get hurt, and that Waylon is set up for a hard life. She said that you were, um, she said that, she said, who cheers for a baby that throws his plate on the ground? Because when you, when he dumped it, you said, yay, Waylon. Earlier. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah, because he did it. What? <laughs> I don't care what my kid does. Anything he does, I'm happy about. <laughs> She said that you were just as ignorant as me and that she was like, she hasn't strapped him in a high chair. I've been watching them for months. She said that Waylon fell down, fell already and got hurt, which I don't even remember a time where he fell and got hurt in a way that was like really not normal for a child like him. And... Waylon's sick right now, so I'm going to keep offering him foods and stuff because he's still not eating right like he used to. So even if he wants to crawl around like this, I'm going to still offer him foods. Zach's giving him watermelon to help him get fluids because he had a couple dry diapers. He had a wet diaper when he woke up from his nap. And grapes. Yeah. I'm giving him quartered and skinned grapes. Because I don't think he liked the skins on the other one, so I started taking the skins off. Yeah, he doesn't like... He doesn't like the skins. Yeah, so let's just put the skins away. Here we go. Got that. Yeah, because he'll take a bite of the, the meat, and then once the skins are in his mouth, he looks disgusted. <laughs> you need something from Mommy? But yeah, I don't feel good right now because I feel really sick. Hey, show, show YouTube how bad of a dad I am. No, I'm not even going to show uh, it. They're going to hear it. No, I'm trying to get monetized. I don't want to show it. Well, you don't have to show the label. <laughs> but they'll know what I'm doing. I don't want to show it. In front of my son. Yeah, you like that, don't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, Zach's drinking a beer. Yeah, at 4.16 in the afternoon. <laughs> He doesn't have work tomorrow. I'm really just trying to entice the negative comments. Yeah, we know. He's drinking a beer on a <laughs> Sunday? What a godless man. <laughs> um, yeah, but Whelan is very well loved. And he has structure. And he has guidelines. But he's allowed to crawl around during his, during his meal times at this age. So... You guys are just going to have to accept that. Hey, my cousin does that. He does what? Let's their kid get up and down and stuff during mealtime. And he's like a big kid now. He's a big kid? He's very well adjusted. What do you mean well, well adjusted? Normal. Like he's a good kid. He's not like a brat? No. You want mommy's hand? Because I might, I might not do this. <laughs> Waylon. Authoritative parenting, like spanking and stuff. I don't think so. I don't think Sonny looks bread, uh, cracking. Oh, he just like threatens to. He probably says, "Oh, why I order." Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I haven't been around since since Mason was a big kid. 
homemade toddler. Well, there's a couple of people leaving really bad comments, and I'm sick right now, and it just was making me upset. So I deleted them and blocked them from the channel. So. I can't wait to send this video to my dad. <laughs> We're posting it on YouTube. All right, I'm going to send him the link so that he can go on there and hear about all the bad comments people are saying about his grandson. Yeah. Waylon, you like watermelon? Waylon, you like watermelon? Waylon's going to turn out to be okay. He's going to be fine. The parenting style that I subscribe to is not brand new. It's not like the first person ever to do it the way that I do it. So there have been multiple studies that this parenting style yields well-balanced children. You know you can't win an argument with the internet. Well, the, so. thing, the thing is, no parenting style is perfect. Your kids are always going to end up a little bit messed up. No one's perfect. No, they're not going to end up yeah. messed up. Every, every child has a weird thing from their childhood. It doesn't mean they're messed up. I know people that grew up in normal... Two parent households where the parents weren't addicted to drinking and drugs and gambling and I'm they're I'm talking about parenting styles. Right. Well the I'm not talking about the, the types of homes no, like I grew up in. I'm just saying I've known people that grew up normal in homes that always had power, right? So like you knew when you were coming home from school you had electricity. Right. Okay, and not just that, but like cable TV and cartoons, and you had a safe environment. But that doesn't mean that they're parenting style. Right, they had different parenting styles, but they grew up normal, they didn't grow up messed up. We only know a bunch of people that grew up messed up because they grew up in messed up environments. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? With like... I forget the, what you're Yellow talking. mattress on the floor. You go over to your buddy's house and he's like 15 and he's got a yellow mattress on the floor. You're like, yeah, I don't think that's right. Yeah, that's how I grew up. <laughs> so I think, I think providing a safe and healthy environment to grow up in is probably more important than your parenting style. Yeah. I think just making the kid feel safe to explore and learn, I think everything else is extra. Yeah, I forget what it's called. Uh, like food insecurity, like where you don't have food at your house, that like types of neglect like that where you don't have running water or electricity, those types of things are the things that really mess kids up, like really bad. Yeah. That's how I grew up. Well. Where's Waylon going? I, I think Waylon's going to turn out fine, as long as he has a healthy household to grow up in. I was trying to explain to people, because they were saying like, he's a baby, he's not the boss. And trying well, to imply like, that obviously he's not the boss. <laughs> Say Waylon's the boss is a joke because it's cute. <laughs> yeah. Like we clearly run the show, and when Waylon's bigger and he tries talking back to me, I'm gonna give him the old why no, I you're on not. Him, and he'll go, you're not. "Oh, Dad, please don't do it," or he'll probably <laughs> run over and punch me in the balls because no. I never hit him. No, there's ways to discipline without hitting. But what I was saying is, um. We're, none of us are the boss. We're all a team. So, like, if Waylon wants something different than what you and I want for him, we have to figure out a solution. Right. Because hitting him and forcing him is not how I want to raise him. I want him to feel like he has a choice in his life. I mean, and most of the things that kids want are, like, small. Like, say he wants ice cream. Well, okay, okay, you can't have ice cream every day of the week, but you can have ice cream if you do Waylon. this. Okay, but there's going to be time. You're not going to hit him. No, I'm not saying I'm going to hit him. I'm saying there's going to be times where Waylon's decision cannot weigh in on our decision. I know. Because we're going to make decisions that are good for Waylon, that Waylon hates. Yes, I know. Sometimes Waylon will be too immature to be able there, to make a good decision for himself. There is going to be times. But for small things... <clears throat> Like being able to walk around and eat, that's something small and harmless that doesn't hurt anybody. He can make that choice. Yeah. When it's when it's stuff like that that he that if he had the power to make the choice nobody gets hurt and it doesn't hurt him. Right. I think he well, should when, have the power. When Wayland is a school age child and he says I want to play full contact football. Yeah. Um, and I tell him no and he's gonna weigh in on that decision. 
like I'm gonna have to just stand firm on that, and he's gonna hate it. We don't want Waylon to play contact football because of the brain injuries. Any other sport, right? What are the other options? Soccer. Like yeah, soccer, baseball, uh, wrestling, ballet. <laughs> I mean cheerleading. I'm just saying, them male, cheer, them male cheerleaders. They, Strong. They got an end. Strong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, and said, bah, bah, bah. All right. I would prefer to have Denton Ray as a male cheerleader. He's, you know? He'll be the strongest one on the he, team. He would be cool if he, if he played <laughs> something, just not like football or rugby or. Yeah, it's not good for your brain, right? Right. Going back, I wouldn't have played football, knowing what I know now. Knowing how it can mess your brain up. Right. Go, Waylon, go! 30-year-old NFL players that have the brains of, like, 60-year-olds. Their brains all messed up. Or boxers. You end up being a boxer, and then you try to read. You look like Freddie Mayweather. Yeah, their brains all messed up. They can't read so good. Well, clean Waylon up and clean the kitchen up. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I am now very sick. And also very sick and tired of the bad comments. So, I just deleted them. And I really appreciate the people that leave, that leave nice comments. Yeah, and I want everybody to know that I don't care about the mean comments. Because I don't read them. So I'm going to do what I want regardless. Yeah, we're, we're going to raise Waylon the way we feel fit regardless of the comments but the nice comments help me feel better on the days where I doubt myself because being a good parent is very hard right we don't smoke cigarettes in the car with the windows rolled up we don't we don't take Waylon to, to the bar to the bar and sit on the ground while we sit there with our friends with my parents we don't sit Waylon in the car for two hours while we go into the gas station and play Keno like my parents like, there's so many things that we don't do that a lot of people do. That a lot of things that I saw growing up. Especially in Baltimore. Like, we don't have bed bugs, bro. Like, my, my parents. I grew up very rough. We used eviction tickets as toilet paper for a few months. Because we would get an eviction ticket every day. Oh. Uh, uh. How about we just don't live in Baltimore? Like, that's gotta count. I gotta go clean them up.